I just came back from living in a cave. Yeah, <laughs> I spent six days and five nights in a cave with five other people whom I had never met before. I just did an analog astronaut mission, a simulation of the Mars environment on Earth led by an organization called Astroland. I stayed in an extreme cave environment with literally no running water, limited amounts of food and energy, and no contact with the outside world. So yes, that means no Instagram, no TikTok, no Google, nothing like that. Not even be able to WhatsApp your friends. The contact that we did have was with Mission Control, which were based in the city center of Santander, whilst we were in the mountains miles away. And the way we contacted them was with a communication system. Now, just to enter the cave, we have to give up our phones, but not just that. At this point, we also have to do a mountain hike to get to the entrance of the cave. And then it's a challenging climb through the cave and a trek to get to the habitat. Now, the habitat is a large tent somewhere in the middle of the cave. We've never been there before, but we have to find our way. And that habitat is going to be our home for the next six days. The thing is, we're all aware we're still on Earth. At the end of the day, there's still gravity, right? When we got to the cave, that's when the team left us. That's when the team headed back. And we realized that that's it. The mission has started and this is real. We are alone. The only people that we have for the next six days is each other. Yeah, there's no backing out now. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was a surreal moment. But um, yeah, the mission just got started. Despite not having my phone, the crew and I were provided with an Android phone and an earpiece. This is how we were able to communicate with Mission Control. And with this, I was able to take never before seen images and videos of Cueva del Escalon. That's the cave that we lived in, an arrow station, the habitat that we called home for the next six days. So stay with me here to see this incredible journey of the intense training, the trek to the cave, the daily life in our habitat, and finally our exploration of the deep lake on the other side of our habitat. Habitat. And keep watching this vlog, the first vlog, to see the mountain that we not only hiked up, but the mountain that we lived in for the next six days. Let's go live in the cave. I've arrived in Santander, Spain around noon, got picked up by Astraland to be dropped to my hotel. So it's two days till the mission starts, and we have had remote training sessions for the last few weeks, from communication sessions to astrobiology. And tomorrow is going to be an intense training session. So today, all I'm going to be doing is resting. Training day. The training was in the Astroland Center itself. This is in the city center of Santander and it is super space themed, as you can see with the Mars facts all over the walls. And today we got to see our suits. So we have our blue suit, a white suit and a red suit. And we got to see all of them. So we got to see our blue suit, which we will be wearing for the mountain hike to the cave. And it's got our name and flag on it. Then we have our white suit, the flight suit, which we will be wearing during our EVAs when we can leave the habitat and explore the cave. And finally, our red suit, which we will be wearing in the habitat. Now, every mission has a mission patch, and ours is the Libra Biogender 2 mission. So we've got this patch which says this, and it's going to be worn every single suit. And it's a patch that we get to keep for life. This is the Astroland Center where all the analog astronauts get training before a mission and where mission control is held. Every pod is a training room. This is also the day where I got to meet my crew and they're pretty cool. So I've got Michal, a plant biologist from Poland, Ophir, an experimental physicist from Israel, Manos, a biologist from Greece, Juliana, a pilot in training from Brazil, and Safa, a PhD researcher in space sustainability and engineer from Jordan and Palestine. This is Mission Control, where Manuel and the team will communicate with us on our Android devices. They will be watching us 24 seven on the big screens and communicating with us when necessary. This room is one of my favorite rooms. It's like a step back in the past and a step in the future. It literally shows everything from the habitat on Mars, AKA our habitat in the cave, all the way going back to the origin. So we've got the arrival on Mars, space exploration, the first civilization, migration from Africa to Europe and our origins in Africa. Now we're taking a lunch break in the tech room. And as soon as you walk in, there's a big sign that says technology as a driver of change in Spanish. See, this is the room where they test all the hardware and software equipment that we're gonna be using in the habitat. What we see here is a dehydrated food, which we will be eating in the habitat. It will be one day where we live off just this. Safa, one of the crew members, is going to be bringing a virtual reality device, which the crew and I will be using on the last day of the mission. And I have no idea what we're gonna see, but I do know it's got something to do with sustainability and reminding us of our home Earth. 
When you enter this room, you're greeted by a passage that says that Mars is a second opportunity to learn from mistakes and evolve towards an improved society where we are more respectful among ourselves and with the environment. What do you think of that? After lunch, we had our communication lesson with Cyrilo, the engineer at Astroland, and Manuel, the mission director, showed us how we will communicate with mission control using our Android. So there's an app that has a channel for each crew member and mission control. When you press the mic button, you speak, and it sends it to mission control with an eight minute delay. To simulate the delay, astronauts will experience on Mars. This is Cyrilo demonstrating it with the earpiece, which we will also be wearing to be able to hear messages back. So I am Astro 3. When I receive, I say mission control from Astro 3. Copy that. Astro Lander 5 for Astro Lander 1. Mm -hmm. Okay, see how it works? So you have ears. We will all be wearing a heart rate monitor strap below our chest for mission control to monitor our health. Especially important during workouts. Next up was the climbing session, a two hour session for us to get skilled up on belaying. Now back at home, I boulder, which is climbing without rope on these type of walls. Yeah. <laughs> Our instructor showed us how to use the Otto, that is a figure eight belaying apparatus used to climb down. There is another apparatus which is used to scale up a wall. So in the cave, we will have to change between the two depending on whether we're gonna be scaling up or down the cave wall. This is the Cyber Hut. So remember Cyrilio? He programmed this. The Cyber Hut is a smart, sustainable, flexible home which can be moved to anywhere in the world. It has AI, artificial intelligence systems, and big data sensors that can anticipate or like predict the needs of the person living in it and even learn their routine. It was built by research on life in extreme habitats such as Mars and developed by Astroland. So when I say predicting your needs, as an example, it can like, for example, make your coffee in the morning as soon as you get up, or even make purchases based on your specific diet. And one of the things that I really like about it is that it's super sustainable. So it's non-polluting and built with recyclable and repairable construction materials. So let's take a tour of the Cyber Hut. So if you want to get in, you actually press a button and the stairs extend down, kind of like a spacecraft. So when you walk in, you'll have the gym area on your right and the kitchen on your left. Okay, oh, I'm nice. Astro Lander, Astro <laughs> number six, but I will be living here. Anybody anybody can pop in the back? Anybody can pop in the back? No. No. How do you guys solve this? Yeah, you will do a little, a little. This is the toilet and on the left hand side is the shower and it's really cool because again this can be changed around right so you can actually uh, make it smaller you can make it bigger and it's super futuristic looking we have sapa here making an entrance We have the lounge on the right, the bedroom and TV on the left hand side and hidden away in the corner over there is the drinks, smoothies and coffee machine. Everything in this hut is automatic. You press a button and the bed comes down. Obviously it's missing a mattress, um, but this is just a proof of concept house. Um, and this is sort of like a Murphy bed. Now check this out, the house can go in party mode. The coolest thing is, is that the space can be customized. So if you want more space in the living room and less in the kitchen, it can literally change this, which you're literally seeing now. It's 50 square meters, but it can go up to 200 square meters. This is Alexa, the AI built in the hut. As soon as you enter, you are actually greeted by her. And we also have daytime mode, which opens up access to the balcony. I'll go out. Cool. Let's see what it's. Hola! 
This is the gaming area and workstation. Now bear in mind, everything in the cyber hut is powered by solar panels. Hi guys, um, so this is day one of my vlog and also day one of my mission. And I have to be quick because I've got about 20 minutes to have breakfast. Um, and then I'm getting picked up. I'm going to have to drop off my suitcase, all my belongings. At least I've got this view. I'm going to be in a cave for the next five days from the 12th to the 17th, surviving off what they give me and not being able to tell the difference between day and night. But <laughs> yeah, let's see how it goes. See you on the other end. So we've dropped off our suitcases and swapped it for one backpack that has to fit the clothes and shoes they provided. My robot, one personal item of clothing and one sentimental item. Now as we were driving up the mountain, I couldn't help but notice how cute these villagers were. And soon we will be dropped off to start the hike up the mountain and to oh. the cave. And this is one last picture of the crew. We have to hand in our phones. This is the last picture I took with my phone and now the mission starts. Next vlog comes out same time next week where I'm gonna show you the cave, the habitat and the start of our mission. So keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions on this mission or how I apply to this mission, please drop a comment below and I'll be sure to get to it and make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, stay safe and hopefully one day I will see you in space. <laughs>